Ugh, there's too much light. My blessed mess forsaken! These fairy tales are much too plain, so dull and dry. A lifeless dream, a warm bleak. I'll craft them dark to make them grim. That's my hallmark. My guts fill up with pretty tales. Their prissy cuteness never fails to make me puke. To lose my wits, to rot my teeth and give me fits. Now the rents is stale and foul. Disobedient child recklessly jeopardizes the lives of countless innocents for the sake of a toy and is rewarded. We know we're upside down in fairyland. Do even dribbling dreamers desire such a place? The forest has been off limits for years. Now, an ambitious huntsman claims that he can bag the homicidal maniac who lives there and render the woods safe for decent people. Fear is a complete stranger to me, my friend. I have discovered the fiend's lair. Bring pails and some rope. We'll expose the monster. Well demanded, son. But reasonable questions find few answers in fairy tales. He's resting, cramps, etc. And he's afraid of pails. No bollocks, just pale. They find the fiend and dub him Iron John. Well, why not? Looks more like that creaky, heartless tin head from Ozland to me, but who cares? They lead him back to the castle without a fuss. Strange what passes for monstrous. This cage once held Mama's favorite woolly mammoth. It will be sufficient for Iron John. Oh, joy! To frolic in the forest without being eaten, and our native witches can get on with their incantations, spells, and satanic rituals. The brute is impotent. The prince can play beside this erstwhile child killer. Let no one open the cage. On pain of death, take the key, my dear. But as all trivial pursuits are ripe occasions for disaster in Grimm, the prince's golden ball rolls into the cage. Give me my ball, please, Iron John. Unlocking closure to commence spherical item transfer routine. No, I mustn't. The king has forbidden it. Conditions to initiate transfer protocol not met. Request rejected. Request rejected. Beep, beep, beep. Stop data transfer. Beep. Oh, cruel Iron John. For three days running, the prince returns and asks for his ball. Each time, Iron John denies him, so to speak. But on the fourth day, the boy takes a new tack. I could not open the door even if I wished to, for I don't have the key. Retrieve device from female relative sleeping quarters. Quick as boiled asparagus, the boy brings the key and opens the door. Oh, Iron John, take me, or I shall be beaten. Beaten does not compute. Exoskeleton useless. Intelligence negligible. Opposable thumbs may have value. Come. When the king and queen find an empty cage and their son gone, they guess what has happened, and much grief reigns in the royal court. Stupidity does not preclude sadness. Back at his forest hideaway, Iron John orders the prince to let nothing fall into his well. But the careless lad has already touched the water with his hand, and a stray hair has wafted in too. Both have turned to gold. Error, error, error. Systematic failure detected. Further malfunction equals termination. Beep, beep, beep. Terms of final warning breached. Adios. It was an accident. It wasn't my fault. My mother should have cut my 
here! Cease failure not fatal. Return for upgrade or assistance. Exit. The prince wanders aimlessly and then finds work at the palace. First in the kitchen and then as a gardener. After some years, his appearance earned him the notice of the royal princess. But nothing really happens until a war begins. I am grown up and must go to war, but not with this nag. I am John! I am John! I am John! Fully functional, fully featured, equine quadruped provided. Additional options available separately. I am John! I am John! I am John! Audio receiver operational. Speak. Take back your war horse and your troops, and give me back my lame nag. All that he asks is done, and soon he's riding home on his three-legged horse, happy as a clam. An unknown knight carries the victory for us. I proclaim a feast. The princess shall throw out these three golden apples. Perhaps the unknown hero will come to catch them. Mm -hmm. Don't expect logic from a king. When he hears about the feast, the prince calls on Iron John and asks to catch the princess's golden apples. And Iron John says... Data transmitted, Texan, affirmative. And each day, the prince, in sumptuous armor, catches the apple and promptly rides away. Who is this naughty knight? He won't tolerate her. He must appear before me, pursue him, and if necessary, stab him. Parker like said, logic? <laughs> During the chase, the prince is wounded and loses his helmet, exposing his golden hair. And the princess recognizes him as the gardener's helper. I know who the shy warrior is, and I want to marry him post-haste. Arrange a wedding. Are you the one who caught the golden apples? Yes, and I am the knight who helped you conquer your enemies. I owe you thanks, and as it pleases my daughter, you may take her to wife. Not standing on ceremony and long engagements, the deed is done. The prince's parents attend the wedding. How they found out about the nuptials, who knows? Telepathy? Smoke signal? Coded message? Carrier pigeon? Invisible ink? Telegraphy? Message in a gum wrapper? TV! No bloody idea. I'm called Iron John, and was as I was on account of an enchantment. But you have set me free from the curse. All the royal treasures I possess shall be yours. Well, there you have it. The ridiculous eclipsed by the incredible. Enchanted? By whom? For what reason? Cursed to be filthy rich and magically potent? And how did the prince set him free from this miserable estate? Not relevant, evidently. They all live happily ever after, I'm sure. Well, they would, wouldn't they? Nonsense comes in many flavors. Do I detect a whiff of camel dung? A murderous fiend terrorizes the surrounding woods. And nobody gives a horse's patoot. No paralyzing fear. No raging anger. This situation demands panic and desperate resolve. Get it? Make it stinky. <clears throat> Let's grim it. Oh, this is going to be a lot of fun. Hello everyone, welcome back to American Me's Grim. This is the tale of Iron John. I am your mad host as always. And well, notice the floor now. There is a bunch of, well, they metallic objects, your various bolts. We have some surveillance televisions now, referring to a killing machine. Smelly. This is a very cool. I love the theme of this place. It's it's pretty cool. It warms the heart in a way, so to say. We also have our lo we have some lovely killer plants as well. Because who needs a delightful, pretty flowers of sorts? We can just have giant men man-eating plants and want you to completely eat someone's face. I think that's more Robin than enough merits. But kicking good. Also, the change in music also is kind of lovely. Also, our head just become giant bear traps because that makes the most sense. 
don't know why, I, I kind of love the leaps of logic in this stage. It, it works so well. Also, things are becoming a bit more, well, metallic. Things are getting colder, sort of more mechanical, you could say. This is pretty much where it gets kind of fun. And it basically, and to me at least, it only continues to get, it continues to get cooler. You guys will probably catch on to the theme very, very quickly when you see Iron John's dark path. That's all I will let on. Also, it's now getting dark. How lovely. It's like it's an apocalypse or something. It is to say. Also, yeah, this, the time limit for time, no, no. What they give you for time is kind of strict, like they, like you basically have only two minutes to get everything you need to do in order to finish the state. Like I said, you have to speed run in essence, but who needs that? So let's continue onwards. Stop it! Now this is looking good. Let's make sure enough blood will flow freely. The wild thing, aka Iron John, is lurking in a pond. Good choice for a toad. For a mammal, not so much. The pathetic plan to expose him will take all week. Let's give them more than a hand. Make it rotten. So yes, now our hunters have become basically like manhunters in essence from the future. It's going to get, like I said, it only continues to become get more fun from here. As we see just bear traps laid everywhere. For the tip, for as our tale says, but stop it. the crazed maniac known as Iron John was found within a deep within a pond, and they plunge him out in the silliest of manners by basically you, with pails draining the pond by force. Yes, that is very yes, yes that is a very silly plan that takes a no ass numbingly long time to perform. So how are we going to help them? Well, quite simple actually. That da that leaky dam you saw, we're going to break it open. Bust it wide open for everyone to see. Because if anything, that will get their attention. That will help. That will get Iron John out at least. At least expedite the process. Also, wonderful children impaled on this tree. Isn't it lovely? I think it is. It hasn't has a homely touch to it Grim's that warms nasty. the heart. Ow. <laughs> uh, all in all, I'm 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 happy for this tale. This is to me at least it's a good tale that pretty much starts off after the f after what the golden goose tries to bring up to the table or lack thereof. To me at least it's a good it's a good departure from that and pretty much brings a lot more fun to the table. As we go, come to a school that is apparently in the middle of the forest. And, well, most of its kids are dead. You know, because evil people. People are evil, by the way. Especially iron, apparently giant mechanical iron john-like people are just as evil, if anything. But enough of my nonsense. We still have much more to do. And much more of a story to encompass for sure. So why don't we, without further haste and further ado, break open the dam, so to say? Ah, they're drowning! My, all those swimming lessons for naught! <laughs> oh, and he's metal! Now the man of steel, not, has been set free! No, they capture him and take him away. Speaking of, I'd better be off myself before those kiddies' parents show up in a snit. And that was scene one, and yes, we did just murder the rest of the school children by drowning them. Isn't it lovely? Either way, we shall move on to the next scene. Very hot items, these golden bowls. Fairy tale royals love them. Iron John's caged in the courtyard. But where's security for this cold blooded killer and the signs of his struggle? As for the prince, let's take that grin off the brat's pie face. Make it gross. Let's kill the clean. 
And now is the time. Now is the time in our discontent where we pretty much make everything miserable and lovely forever. And that is basically how you get that secret, by the way. In case you were very curious as to why I did that. And it pretty much brings like a character you. I think you only. S you only see once in this tale. I believe. I believe that model does make a reappearance later on. I. I'm not entirely sure. I don't fully remember. That's neither here nor there. But we still have. We have quite. <laughs> we get to make a. We get to make a royal child. That is an entitled. A very entitled child normally. Very. Very ang angsty. Also, these trees we can turn into ter laser turrets! Because that makes complete and utter sense in every fabrication. And it does me a wonderful job because it gets rid of my cleaners. Stop it! I, there, I like the aesthetic that goes on here. Like, even the armors take the change because they become very futuristic in their own right, which is. very ingenious to my, to my mind at least. Plus, this guy now is starting to look more. It's starting to look less like an actual ca castle grounds, more of a prison. <laughs> uh, to make people delightfully miserable is just amazing. Alright, so without further ado, let's let's get this entire brat to lose his ball. When the dim prince rashly approaches the cage, he's snatched and forced to release the steel creature. Make it nasty. And making it nasty we shall do so. For now we have to because now that the prince is that the dumb prince has lost his, his ball. He has to free... He decides in desperation to save his ball. He risks pretty much everything to free Iron John. And that's the game giving a very not-so-subtle hint as to what we're supposed to do. Don't delay, but stomp away! Which, in my opinion, works very well. We also have sort of a way to get through. For, thankfully, with the ability of slow motion, we have to kind of feet our way, but it is, it's kind of difficult to kind of time this off. Because in a way, you have to time them to appear in just a manner. And unfortunately, you you can't really, can't really time your jumps as well. Like I said, you have to go, you have to time it just the way that it works, so it can be a little difficult. And I and yes, I am very bad at this platforming section segment. For some reason or another, I am just very, very bad. No! It's there. I don't know why. I'm I'm just very bad when it comes to this section. No! No! Uh, Grim, is there a reason you're just running back? You were running backwards there for a second. I don't know. Please stop. Uh, <laughs> Man, this is just—I'm embarrassed with myself right now. Uh. Okay, okay, okay. All right, just wait for the wall. Wait for the wall. Okay, good. No! All right, there we go. That's that's that part done. Good. Very good. And basically, this is kind of our way. Because there's Iron John now. And I'll tell you now. Beating him, get, freeing him basically. Grim ends that bit. In the shape of a sausage. So if you want to get that secret, well, there's a little lovely necker hole here. So, yeah, doing that does that. 
So let's see Iron John for his true form. Whoa! This metal man has rockets on the soles of his shoes. Whee! Next stop, the Arboreal Hideaway. Oh, it's, this is going to be really good. He probably seems familiar to a lot, just a lot of you, I'm sure. Well, we'll see in the next scene. <laughs> this enchanted well has the Midas touch. The prince, in his usual stellar style, guards it. I'm shocked he's only turned his fingers gold. This is preposterous. His failure has to put Midas himself to shame. We should gild this lily. Make it nasty. It's grim time. I don't know why, but I really love like I love that guy's means of I love Grimm's like little flailing animation during that exclamation. Also, because we're entering a more digitized force of Iron John. Our particle effect actually does change to a more digital coating, which is kind of a, which is actually a really cool touch. You don't see that. You don't see it. It's not done a whole lot in this in Grim, but it's real. I don't know why. It's just a really cool touch. It, I, I like it. Super speed. Also, for the secret, it's on the board. Not so secret now. So it's pretty. It's pretty quick to get through here. Because they do lay the power up, they do lay the speed up over, like practically all over the place, so it's not relatively hard to get rid of everything. As long as you just kind of roam around, just kind of keep the perimeter around, and just get everything. You'll be done. No, you'll get it. You'll get what you'll need eventually. It's kind of quick to be fair. Plus again, just this digital coding is actually a really cool effect that I really, I really like for some, I really like beyond re normal re reasoning and comprehension. I don't know why, it just works. It just works for me, I feel. And now we can actually start truly digitizing the forest, which works. Maybe more so at the side, which helps very much so. It gets rid of a lot of things. And pretty soon we can deal with these swirls. Let's do little swirls, bug as they are. Let's put an end to this thing. And doing that to the squirrels turns turns them into wireframes. It's kind of cool. <laughs> But yes, now we have to get rid of the rest of the squirrels, which, well, surprise, it's another convert X amount of dudes. Which, well, we all know how well that usually goes. It involves one little squirrel to ruin all of my progress, which always ends bad and ends usually makes me go into tears. Especially because these are giant squirrels. They're even worse than normal squirrels. Oh, I know. Trick them in a way, without them really knowing that you're there. It usually works. It usually pays off and works for the better in, in typical cases. If not, then well, sad for you, I suppose. Also, I again, I really kind of like the fact that everything is looking more like this. Usually, like the hardware circuits of a in of the inner of an inner computer, it works very well actually. It's it's a it's a nice little touch, and again, it just kind of gives us a good feeling. And taste for what is to come. Is there still more, there's still more to show. <laughs> A robot age for all. Iron John shall not be in. Also, the well is starting to look kind of less of a normal well and kind of more of a smelting plant of some sorts. Make 
it disgusting. Stompy good. So now we've made now we've made the little prince mess up for big time. He's fallen in the well. His head is completely in there. And well, Iron John, respectfully so, since he asked him not for anything not to hit the well, would be kind of just finally pissed. But he got away pretty scot free. But we change that now. Oh, hey, hold up there, metal man. The boy did bad and turned everything to gold. <laughs> there went my eyes for a bit, so, um. We're going to call it off for now, because as per usual, and we will continue the second half of Iron John in the next in the next episode. So, I hope you guys are enjoying this. I will see you guys later. Bye!